Here we've got the 2016 Jones Storm Chaser. This thing is a true powder surfer board. So it's got a directional shape and a medium to responsive flex. Jones rate this is seven out of 10. It's been shaped by Jeremy Jones and Chris Christensen, which means it's got the Christensen Surf Rocker, which is basically a custom rocker in the tip and tail. So the nose rocker starts just inside the front inserts, continues out to the tip, and the tail rocker starts just behind, uh, just behind the back inserts and goes out to the tail. What that means is that when the tail's in the, in the powder and weighted down, the nose lifts and gives you just really superior float, no matter how deep the powder is. It's got a sintered 9,900 base. This thing is unbelievably fast, really durable. It's got a superior wax absorption as well. So it really has no trouble with any conditions. Storm Chaser's got mellow magnet traction down the side on the edges. So basically they strategically extend parts of the edge to give you more contact points with the snow. Basically it gives a more solid edge hold in all conditions, but really much, really, really well in icy or hard conditions. So it does make the board that just a little bit more versatile and a little bit easier to use as well. It's also got a progressive side cut, which is a gradual increase in the side cut radius at the, as the edge reaches the contact points to basically deliver that really nice smooth turning, turn initiation and give that really nice smooth, surfy, playful feel. Um, as you can see, it's got a pretty wacky shape here. It's got a swallow tail at the bottom there and a big old powder nose. This thing just really helps the board kick up the nose in powder and keep you floating on top of the soft stuff. Obviously, it's an intermediate to advanced board. We'd never put a beginner on this. And it's certainly not going to be a park board, but if you just want a true powder surfy style board, then you've got to check out the 2016 Jones Storm Chaser. Yeah.